right, let's take a look at the final Jeopardy category, shall we? European geography. That's a good subject. We'll reveal a good clue. I am uh, I'm chuckling a little bit because two of those last, well, actually the last two clues. Uh, i get to that in a second. Welcome to the final wager. I'm Keith Williams. Jamaica Bay is, if you live in New York, you know about it. And uh, when my mom was here the other day, we were talking about <clears throat> the courtship of Miles Standish and the famous line by Longfellow, why don't you speak for yourself, John? And how Miles Standish had completely blown his chance. How did that come up? Were we watching some other show? It was on. It was on Jeopardy. I can't remember. Anyway, Lori, wow, just very impressive today. 29-2, Megan 6,800, Carrie 7,400. Carrie's going to want to go either really big or really small against Megan. Megan's going to want to wager at least 1,200, and at most, I don't know, I wouldn't wager more than, well, 1,201. I'd probably just wager 2,000 or some funny number. Uh, let's see, I had some notes. Uh, the first category was not a run, as if you just looked at Lori's podium, you could see she had 2,600, not 3,000, as you would if you were to run the first category right out the gate. So, strange to see some applause there. And for Alex's congratulations. Bi weekly, why not just use fortnightly or semi weekly? Those are the two I prefer. I don't know. Bi weekly should be in two every two weeks, but I can see why it would be once every half a week or twice a week. Uh, English is dumb. I liked Megan's interview about uh, games at her wedding, and if I'm ever... Oh, what did I do? Yeah. If I'm ever old enough to be to have grandchildren, if I ever do have grandchildren, period, then I hope that I'm playing Frisbee when I'm 70 or whatever age that would be, when my hypothetical grandkids got married. So I don't really understand Alex's insistence that they not be playing Frisbee. Uh, I never heard Missouri Compromise for a mullet. That's a new one. That's also hilarious. And I also thought the Major Leaguer category was dumb. Oh, one last thing. The Nixon clue at 2000 If you're going to give it $2,000, at least ask for the title of the opera. Don't ask, oh, this guy who kind of looks like Richard Nixon coming off of Air Force One in 1972. That is just bad positioning there. All right, let's play final driver. All about European geography. Here's the blue players. Excluding Russia, it has the longest mainland coastline of any European country. 15,626 miles. 30 seconds. Good luck. I'm guessing because of all the fjords in Norway, they keep going in and out, and that just adds a lot to the. We'll start with Maine. I have no idea. And she wrote down what is Sweden. That's one of the three countries, but it's the wrong one, so it'll cost you fifty-five ninety-nine. Let's go to your left to carry. What Wait, did it say Scandinavian in the clue? He picked Norway. He picked the correct country. That's the one. All those inlets, those fjords. Oh, but you didn't add anything, so you remain in second place. Lori could not be caught. She had built up such a commanding lead. Did she come up with Norway? No, she picked the third of the countries that was a logical one, Italy. So it'll cost you how much? 4200 That drops you to an even 25000 and gives you a very nice sounding $51,700. Still a good payday, and I guess I'll go back now and just make sure that Scandinavia was not in the clue, because country. That's the when uh, Alex said, yeah, it could be one of the, it was one of the three. It could be it's like, well, Finland. Yeah, okay. All right, I feel even better that I got that one. That was a tough one, but congrats to Carrie for getting it. And uh, you know, good wagers all around. Lori uh, lost for two hundred bucks, but twenty five thousand still a pretty good take. And she'll be back again tomorrow, so we'll see how she does. She can become another three time champ. She's already going to be on the leaderboard. She's over 50,000, so we'll see what you can do. Hope you enjoy me then, right here.
on the final wager.